Hello guys, this is Bobokins12, and today I'm going to be looking into if you should use the R4C or the G36C for Ash in Rainbow Six Siege. So, right now I'm going to be taking a look at the recoil and what it's like just in general, and then how you can sort of control it so that it's better. So, right now I'm just going to aim at this wall and see what happens when I just hold down the trigger. So as you can see, it's very, pretty much just straight up. There's a tiny bit of recoil to the right, but that's not going to be hard to compensate for. Now, I'm going to try a couple times to compensate for it and see how tight we can get a grouping. Okay, that's pretty tight. Pretty much the same. That's probably the best. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to compensate for the recoil on this weapon, and it's just overall a very great gun. Um, now we're going to switch on over G36C. I have to kill myself. All friendlies have been eliminated. Fortify the room. You need to keep the hostage secure. Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. Need to find the hostage. Ten seconds. Five seconds. You are clear to engage. Find the hostage and proceed to extraction point. Okay, so now as you can see, I've switched on over to the G36C and we're going to try the same thing that we did with the R4C. First, I'm just going to shoot here. Almost the same as the R4C, except it looks like at the end there, it takes sort of a turn to the right, so your last three bullets might be a little bit off. Um, I'll try it again, just to make sure. Yep, same thing. Now I'm going to try to control it, and see what happens. Now it's sort of my fault, but pretty tight. Basically the same thing as last time, a little bit tighter. I'm gonna try it one more time. That was basically the same as the first one. So keep in mind that I'm not the best player of this game, so if I'm trying to control recoil, I might mess up, and you might be able to get a tighter spread, or I guess tighter grouping. But um, for the most part, these groupings are pretty similar to what I got with the R4C. So now we're going to look at now that we sort of know the recoil is basically the same, we're going to look into the damage stats. So, let's switch on over to that. Okay, so as you can see, the G36C has a damage of 38, fire rate of 780, mobility 41, and capacity 30. Overall, those are pretty good stats. It's a great weapon, has decent damage, very good fire rate, and good mobility. However, the R4C has 3 more damage, and a much higher fire rate, and the same mobility and capacity. So clearly it has higher stats. Now, the only difference that I would see, in turn, like, that might make the G36 slightly better, is because of the lower fire rate it could possibly be easier to get headshots so if you're trying to shoot someone in the head and you shoot with the r4c it's going to go up more because since it's shooting faster the recoil is going to take place faster if that makes any sense i don't know if it does but you might i if you know what i mean then that's good
but overall the higher fire rate on the R4C is definitely going to be helpful and especially in close quarters because you don't like you might not get headshots at close quarters like if you just see the person and you're sort of spraying but that extra fire rate will make it more likely that a stray bullet will hit them and if you're firing into their chest they're going to die much faster than with the G36C so I mean it all comes down to personal preference in the end but I'd say statistically the R4C is going to be a better rifle and more reliable to take people out quickly. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I guess like, subscribe, whatever. Oh my god, the worst outro ever. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time.